Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So we are back with another monthly perfume tray. Well not monthly y'all, a seasonal perfume tray. This was my spring tray. If you guys missed my spring perfume tray update, I will link it in the cards above. And yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and clean this off. I'm not going to say much about anything if you guys see the tray empty um because i think i have one fragrance in my purse and then one i finished so yeah watch that update if you guys missed it but we're about to clean off the tray and pick out some fragrances for right, y'all so as y'all can see the tray is completely clean and i'm gonna have to do this vlog style there's an issue with my tripod so um i'm just gonna be holding my phone showing y'all as i put the fragrances on the tray so i'm working with one hand here <laughs> all right all right y'all so the first fragrance we're gonna go with on the tray for summertime is dolce and gabbana's light blue and y'all i think i showed y'all this in a haul or i told y'all that i received this as a gift for christmas this past christmas so yeah i finally decided to bring this out i have not i've sprayed it but i haven't worn it and y'all this is like heavy on the citrus and i think as I told y'all before, I'm not like a citrus lover. So we are going to see. And this is a huge bottle. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I like it more than just me sniffing it from the bottle. Because I don't know about <laughs> just sniffing it from the bottle if I'm going to like it too much. And next, we have one of my favorites, Dolce and Gabbana Garden. Okay, so they're both Dolce and Gabbana. I didn't realize it. Y'all, I love this. When I first got this, this was like the dent that i created most of this dent the first year that i got this i just kept wearing this over and over this is such a smooth creamy coconut scent i just tropical coconut that's what i like to call it it smells so good it just smells like you put on like a nice creamy lotion tropical coconut lotion so yeah i love this and i will be wearing this and for some reason i prefer to wear this in the summertime even though it can come off as like warm or heavy but it's not it's not heavy it's not too heavy for the summertime i prefer in the summer so yeah we're gonna add her back here we have cheriosa 62 by sol de janeiro this is the original um because you got you guys know they came out with a new bottle that's supposed to last longer supposedly i haven't smelled it i haven't tried that one but um this is the one that i got last year as well and can't wait to wear this. You guys, I had a um, a sunscreen body oil that had shimmer in it of the Cheriosa 62. For some reason, I cannot find that body oil anywhere. I'm so upset because I love that body oil. Summer is here and it had SPF in it. And I've been wanting to wear it and I cannot find it anywhere so i'm hoping that i can find it soon all right next we have floral musk and this is by dossier and this is inspired by lancome's edal and y'all i just smelled it again and it smells just like lancome's edal except this one's a little bit more muskier versus edal is like brighter and like i don't know it's just something about it that's just more bright and fun this one's a little bit not as bright um it's not bright and it's more musky so but it smells like edal and i also have the little dapper of edal that i want to use with this you know to get more of that brightness and fun from the original so i'm just gonna put this over here with it yeah we'll just all right that. so next we have coach um i believe this is uh, their signature i think it's a called coach signature if not i'll have the name on the screen um this is a little bottle i'm halfway done with y'all i love this it's a clean fresh this is also a toy a toilet version so whenever i want it to smell like clean refreshed and i don't know i love this a lot as you guys can see so we're just going to add her here. Another Coach fragrance, y'all. This is Coach Poppy Blossom. Ooh, yes. This is summertime. Y'all, this is my second bottle of this. I had to find this on Macari some years ago. And I was able to find it because this is discontinued. And I love this scent. This was my wedding scent. 
And let me just, I was loving the scent so much at that time. Um, I wore it in November. <laughs> so that lets you know how much I was loving that fragrance because to me, this is not like a fall uh, or winter scent at all. It's more spring, summer. So I definitely want to try to use this up because I think, you know, it's getting a little old. I don't know how long the person who I purchased it from had it. But yeah, I love this. It's like I want to use it up, but I don't want to use it up because there's no more. And I couldn't find this anywhere. This was the only bottle on Macari. They had all the other Coach uh, Poppy fragrances, but I wanted Poppy Blossom. So yeah, here we are. So let's see her in front right here. Next, we have Estee Lauder Sensuous Nude. I think I had this on my tray for fall. Not sure. I feel like this is a fragrance that you can wear. Um... Any time of the year because it has like a citrus note in it. Yeah, I'm just going to put this on the tray because as y'all can see, I don't have much at all. And I do want to go ahead and finish it up because I'm trying to finish as many fragrances as I can this year. And yeah, so she is going on the tray and hopefully she will be complete um, by the end of summer. All right, next we also have uh, Love Relentlessly to by Tori Birch. And this is the Toy, Toy et Moi. And y'all, I, I hauled this from TJ Maxx, I don't know how many years ago, maybe one and a half, two years ago. And um, when I looked at this fragrance to find the notes, I cannot find the notes of this fragrance anywhere. I need to look it up again to see if like um, there's notes for it because I, I can't find this anywhere. So this was like a unicorn fragrance. I was super excited when I found this because I was just like, oh, there's no notes. Nobody knows of this fragrance. I only found one video, um, <clears throat> of someone talking about this and that's, and that was me. Um, that's how I found out how to, uh, pronounce this part. Um, yeah, I found or it might have even been an article. It might, I think it was a video. But one person, and they also said it was a unicorn fragrance. So, yeah, I don't know what's going on with this version of Love, Rel Rel Love Relentlessly. But I would like to know what the notes are. Um, I prefer to wear this as like a bedtime scent. If you guys are wondering like the vibes of that fragrance. All right, next fragrance we have is Truly's Cocoa Cloud. I have not, like, really worn this. Um, this was a new purchase this year. I think I hauled it as well um, when I did my Ulta and Sephora haul when they had the one of those sales. So, yeah. Y'all, this is really good. This is another creamy coconut scent. This smells really, really good. I have two fragrances coming up that I'm giving another try. I am not in love with this or the next one. I will show you, but this is Dolce & Gabbana Rose. Something about this fragrance that, I don't know, that annoys me. <laughs> I guess you could say. So, yeah, it's like, I haven't put my, my, my finger on it yet, but I'm not too sure about this one. But it's about to go on the tray to see how we feel about it. <clears throat> All right, the next one. That I'm kind of like iffy about is Giorgio Armani's My Way. I just smelled it from the bottle and it smells so good. It's like a, a grape bubble gum to me. I think what gets me is the um, tuberose. There's a lot of tuberose in this fragrance. And I mean, I, I don't know if I have an issue with tuberose or in this fragrance I do. It's just too much. Like, when I tried the sample, it smelled good. It was giving me, like, grape candy. Now it's giving me, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. But we're going to see. I'm going to see if I can make it work for me. If not, these two may be, like, uh, time to get rid of if I don't. And I don't like to do that at all, but I don't want it ju to just sit. All right, next fragrance we have is a KKW Heart, and this is in Baby Girl. This is, like, a peach fragrance and I have quite a bit I think I've like I have like two more peach fragrances from her so I wanted to get get some use of my KKW fragrances because I feel like I forget about these <laughs> and I don't be wearing them so yeah I feel like I should uh be able to finish this not sure but this is like a perfumey peach when you think of like perfumes from back in the day that smells like a perfume this is giving perfume vibes like it just smells like a, a perfume 
All right, and the last fragrance that I think we'll be able to fit up here is this Rose Gold Hearts, y'all. This is like one of my favorites of the the gold hearts that she did. This is like a unique fragrance. I really love it. It's sweet and I don't really know how to describe it, but I really enjoy this one. So I wanted to get more use because like I said, I feel like I forget about these hearts. And yeah, so here we are. I'm trying to sit this up here pretty. There we go. All right, y'all. So this is my summer tray. It's a little different for me because it doesn't have my, my signature summer scents that I like to wear. I feel like I don't even have... I feel like I don't have a signature summer scent. Probably the Coach uh, signature. <laughs> that would be my signature summer scent if I had to choose one for this tray. The other ones are just like, hmm, I don't know which one I'm going to wear the most. If it's not, I feel like it's definitely going to be the Coach one. Oh, and probably this, the second Coach one. But the rest, I don't know. <laughs> so we are going to see, y'all. I'm going to do a, a perfume update. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the middle of the summer or towards the end. I've been doing it towards the end, so maybe that's what we'll stick with. But yeah, y'all, this is it for my summer perfume tray. Let me know down below what your favorite summer fragrance is and what you plan on wearing this summer. Give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed this tray video, and it also helps my channel. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!